The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him to show unto his servants the things which must shortly come to pass. And he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant John, who bore record of the word of God and of the testimony of Jesus Christ and of all things that he saw. Blessed is he that reads and they that hear the word of this prophecy and keep those things which are written therein for the time is at hand. John greets the seven churches. John to the seven churches which are in Asia. Grace be unto you and peace from him which is and which was and which is to come. And from the seven spirits which are before the throne and from Jesus Christ who is the faithful witness and the first begotten of the dead and the prince of the kings of the earth unto him that loved us and washed us from our sins in his own blood and has made us kings and priests unto God and his Father. To him be glory and dominion for ever and ever. Amen. Behold, he comes with the clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him. And all kindreds of the earth shall well because of him. Even so, amen. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the ending, says the Lord which is, and which was, and which is to come. John's Vision on Patmos I, John, who also am your brother, and companion in tribulation, and in the kingdom and patience of Jesus Christ, was in the isle that is called Patmos, for the word of God and for the testimony of Jesus Christ. I was in the Spirit on the Lord's day, and heard behind me a great voice, as a trumpet, saying, I am Alpha and Omega, the first and the last. And what thou seest, write in a book, and send it unto the seven churches which are in Asia, unto Ephesus, and unto Smyrna, and unto Pergamos, and unto Thyatira, and unto Sardis, and unto Philadelphia, and unto Laodicea. And I turned to see the voice that spoke with me, and being turned, I saw seven golden candlesticks, and in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man, clothed with a garment down to the foot, and girt about the paps with a golden girdle. His head and his hairs were white as wool, as white as snow. His eyes were as a flame of fire, and his feet onto fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace, and his voice as the sound of many waters. And he had in his right hand seven stars, and out of his mouth went a sharp two-edged sword. And his countenance was as the sun shines in the strength. And when I saw him, I fell at his feet as dead, and he laid his right hand upon me, saying unto me, Fear not, I am the first and the last. I am he that lived and was dead, and behold, I am alive forevermore. Amen and have the keys of hell and of death. Write the things which thou hast seen, and the things which are, and the things which shall be hereafter. The mystery of the seven stars, which thou sawest in my right hand, and the seven golden candlesticks. The seven stars are the angels of the seven churches, and the seven candlesticks which thou sawest are the seven churches. Message to the Church in Ephesus Unto the angel of the church in Ephesus write, These things, says he that holds the seven stars in his right hand, who walks in the midst of the seven golden candlesticks. I know they works, and they labor, and they patience, and how thou canst not bear them which are evil. And thou hast tried them which say they are apostles and are not, and hast found them liars, and hast bore, and hast patience, and for my name's sake has labored, and has not fainted. Nevertheless, I have somewhat against thee, because thou hast left thy first love. Remember therefore for which thou art fallen, and repent, and do the first works, or else I'll come unto thee quickly, 
and will remove thy candlestick out of its place, except thou repent. But this thou hast, that thou hates the deeds of the Nicolaitans, which I also hate. He that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says unto the churches. To him that overcomes, I will give to eat the tree of life, which is in the midst of the paradise of God. Message to the church in Samirna. Unto the angel of the church in Smyrna, write, These things, says the first and the last, which was dead and is alive, I know they works, and tribulation, and poverty, but thou art rich. I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. Fear none of these things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee the crown of life. He that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says unto the churches. He that overcomes shall not hurt of the second death. Message to the church in Pagamos And to the angel of the church in Pagamos write, These things, says he which has the sharp sword with two edges, I know they works, and where thou dwells, even where Satan's seat is, and thou holds fast my name, and has not denied my faith, even in those days wherein Antipas was my faithful martyr, who was slain among you, where Satan dwells. But I have a few things against thee, because thou hast there them that hold the doctrine of Balaam, who taught Balak, to cast a stumbling block before the children of Israel, to eat things sacrificed unto idols, and to commit fornication. So hast thou also them that hold the doctrine of the Nicolaitans, which thing I hate. Repent, or else I will come unto thee quickly, and will fight against them with the sword of my mouth. He that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says unto the churches. To him that overcomes, I will give to eat of the hidden manna, and will give him a white stone, and in the stone a new name written, which no man knows, only he that receives it. Message to the church in Thyatira And unto the angel of the church in Thyatira write, These things, says the Son of God, who has his eyes onto a flame of fire, and his feet are like fine grass. I know they works, in charity, and service, and faith, and they patience, and they works, and the last to be more than the first. Notwithstanding, I have a few things against thee, because thou suffers that woman Jezebel, which calls herself a prophetess, to teach and to seduce my servants to commit fornication, and to eat things sacrificed unto idols. I gave her space to repent of her fornication, and she repented not. Behold, I will cast her into a bed, and them that commit adultery with her into great tribulation, except they repent of their deeds. And I will kill her children with death, and all the churches shall know that I am he which searches the reins and hearts. I will give unto every one of you according to your works. But unto you I say, and unto the rest in Thyatira, as many as have not this doctrine, and which have not known the depths of Satan, as they speak, I will put unto you none other burden, but that which ye have already hold fast till I come. And he that overcomes and keeps my works unto the end, to him will I give power over the nations, and he shall rule them with the rod of iron, as the vessels of a potter shall they be broken to shivers, even as I receive of my Father, and I will give them the morning star. He that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says unto the churches.
Message to the church in Sardis. Revelation chapter 3. On to the angel of the church in Sardis write, These things, says he that has the seven spirits of God and the seven stars, I know they works, that thou hast a name, that thou lives, but thou art dead. Be watchful, and strengthen the things which remain, that are ready to die, for I have not found thy works perfect before God. Remember therefore how thou hast received and heard, and hold fast and repent. If therefore thou shalt not watch, I will come unto thee as a thief, and thou shalt not know what hour I will come unto thee. Thou hast a few names, even in Sardis, which have not defiled their garments, and they shall walk with me in white, for they are worthy. He that overcomes, the same shall be clothed in white remnant, and I will not blot out his name out of the book of life, but I will confess his name before my father and before his angels. He that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says unto the churches. Message to the Church in Philadelphia And to the angel of the church in Philadelphia writes, These things, says he that is holy, he that is true, he that has the key of David, he that opens and no man shuts, and shuts and no man opens. I know they works. Behold, I have set before thee an open door, and no man can shut it. For thou hast a little strength, and hast kept my word, and hast not denied my name. Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews, and are not, but do lie. Behold, I will make them to come and worship before thy feet, and to know that I have loved thee. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world, to try them that dwell upon the earth. Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast, that no man takes thy crown. Him that overcomes will I make a pillar in the temple of my God, and he shall go no more out. I will write upon him the name of my God, and the name of the city of my God, which is New Jerusalem, which comes down out of heaven from my God, and I will write upon him my new name. He that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says unto the churches. Message to the Church in Laodicea And unto the angel of the church of the Laodiceans write, These things, says the Amen, the faithful and the true witness, the beginning of the creation of God. I know they works, that thou art neither cold nor hot. I would rather thou be cold or hot. So then, because thou art lukewarm, and neither cold nor hot, I will spoo thee out of my mouth. Because thou says, I am rich, and increased with goods, and have need of nothing, and knows not that thou art wretched, and miserable, and poor, and blind, and naked. I counsel thee to buy of me gold tried in the fire, that thou may be rich, and white remnant, that thou may be cloth, and that the shame of thy nakedness do not appear, and anoint thy eyes with eye slaps that thou may see. As many as I love, I rebuke and chasten. Be zealous, therefore, and repent. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come into him and will sup with him and he with me. To him that overcomes will I grant to sit with me in my throne, even as I also overcame and am set down with my father in his throne. He that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says unto the churches.